I talk for the press. Well, my people, me here for drop the real news, you know, news reviews, everything in a one right this or right there, my people. So all I want to know to do is like up the video, share out the video, subscribe to my channel, my people. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Let's get right into it. A corrupt government cannot liberate the people. If the head of the stream is corrupt, the entire river will be also. A blessed, a blessed good day to you, my wisdom warriors. Wagwan, wagwan. I hope you guys are in good spirit. I want to take a look at my screen, my wisdom warriors. Take a look at this beautiful resort. This resort is called the Four Brothers Paradise Island Restaurant and Bar. And guess what? It is located in Greenwood, St. James. It is 15 minutes from the airport, you know, in Montego Bay. Yes, me dear. So guess what now? If you guys want to experience the best resort in Jamaica, you can give Four Brothers Paradise a call on 416-996-5804. And don't forget my people that it is on the beachfront and it is gated. Yes, my dear, it is gated with lots of parking and type of events. Not to worry, because guess what? They cater for the elderly too. Mm -hmm. So if you're an elderly person, you can book a relaxation senior holiday and experience of unforgettable moments right a four brothers paradise well how can i forget the children four brothers paradise is a beach holiday where kids and grown-ups alike can do as much or as little as they want Four Brothers Paradise is all-inclusive resorts, offer plenty of inclusions and ways to enjoy time together. Yeah. So to all my viewers and subscribers, if you want to have a relaxation time at Four Brothers Paradise, all you have to do is contact this number, which is 416-996-5804. You can find them on Google. You can find them on Facebook. My wisdom warriors, do you know what the best thing about this? Four Brothers Paradise, they are a part of the Wisdom Warriors team. Yes, man. Mm -hmm. They are a part of the Wisdom Warriors team. So, my people, all of my travelers, them, in the diaspora, all of my travelers, them, when I go to Jamaica, me want to reach out to Four Brothers Paradise Resort. Me want to give them a call because I say for them place, for them place stay good. Mm -hmm. For them place really stay good. So if a relaxation, I say, if a vacation, I say, Four Brothers Paradise is the place to be. The Jamaica Labour Party St. Andrew North Central constituency has ushered in new leadership with Delano Sivrent. He is currently a senior strategist in the Ministry of Tourism, elected vice chairman before a PAP meeting of JLP constituency delegates. So my wisdom warriors, Carl Samuda obviously did introduce him to them. You understand? I him called Samuda want be the MP. Anyway, he has been accepted in the Labour Party, which is good. However, the way how, to me, the way how them deal with Carl Samuda, well, Andrew Owens deal with Carl Samuda, it wasn't right. It wasn't right. You see, them not like for other people. When people do good, you see, Labour right like for throw people underneath the bus and them not open up them eyes. The Labour right them only need to open up on the eye. You sleep on my death because what Andrew Owens do to Carl Samuda and Mike Henry, he might go do the same thing to Uno. Don't forget when do to Christopher Tufton, you know. Uno forget. Uno remember when do to Christopher Tufton. <laughs> and Uno still not learn. Andrew Owens no care, you know. Andrew Owens only one who say he reach where he reach. He no care about nobody. There's no loyalty in an Andrew Owens administration. No loyalty, my wisdom warriors. Appear pretend them pretend. Because right now the whole of them a fight in the JLP. The whole of them a fight. You know, see, look on the conference. Hmm? Appear them have to pay people to attend the conference. That is bad, you know. They have to pay them 
own supporters to come to the conference. That is a disgrace, a national disgrace too. Me no know how comes the news media never bring it across. Me no know how comes the news media never show it up because if that was PNP, you know, me not ask on you know, me I tell you no, know, say news media run with it, especially observer nationwide. Me I tell you no. Know, According to statistic published by the Jamaica Constabulary Force this morning, Jamaica records bloodiest week all here with 44 murders. When I hear that, last week was the bloodiest in Jamaica this year with 44 murders recorded, the highest for any seven day period in 2024. As at November 23, the update murder toll was 1,039. The previous update a week prior showed that Jamaica recorded 995 murders as at November 16. My wisdom warriors, this has been published by the Jamaica Constabulary Force and the Gleaner posted this, which I know me already. I don't believe them. You understand? I just don't believe them. The runaway police in St. Anne's are investigating the suspected suicide of a foreigner at the Bahia Prince Hotel in Runaway Bay on Sunday. The deceased has been identified as 56-year-old James Harrison Pitan of Ontario, Canada. The police say about 3.15 p.m., a member of the hotel maintenance staff found Harrison Pitan's body hanging from the ceiling of his room. When I hear them something here, my wisdom warriors. Canadian man suspected of committing suicide at hotel in St. Anne's. But wait there, at the same very hotel yeah, was on strike, you know. The workers, them up there, so them did up on strike other day, two days ago. I think God of Daniel, I hope they investigate it and get to the bottom of this. Because for some reason, I just don't believe my wisdom warriors. For some reason, I don't know, it crossed my mind and... I just don't believe this story. But anyway, I'm to tell me one thing. I'm going to update you if I get any more information. Councillor-elect for the Morant Bay Division, Rosemary Shaw, is appealing to local government minister Desmond Mackenzie to make funds available to have the Red Hill Cemetery in Morant Bay clean. When I hear that, my wisdom warriors. When I hear that, when I see how Rose come out and I make the whole of Jamaica know what is going on, I like this. This is a good move. I saw enough to come out and make it be known. Because if you don't come out and make it be known and just do it discreetly and don't, and don't be um, transparent, then Jamaican people don't know what is going on. And when push come to shove, the liar party come out and say, yeah, uno never this and uno never that. So I'm glad this is a good move. So Desmond Mackenzie, make sure so you make funds available ASAP because PNP in a ramp with Uno. We not the pan or ramping spree right now. We not play with Uno. You understand? Because a lot of time we not sabotage PNP. Long time we not sabotage PNP. And all of this rubbish need to stop. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Rose, big up yourself. Big up yourself for coming out and make him know and make the whole Jamaica know. I like the way how you're being transparent. And me advise all councillors or all MP who no need to come out and do the same. Don't just wait until something happens. Then you no come out. You understand me? This is you know from what year me they think about it? You know from what year? Yeah man, because with the thing now about Marky G, when Marky G did a show, you know, the email and stuff like that, and the Dutty King Labour right them come out and chat about Marky G in a care. Marky G care. And Wholeness was the one that don't give a shit about Jamaican people. Whether a PNP area that for sure no say Andrew Wholeness don't care about Jamaican people. And I want to know open up on your eye. You understand? Because if Mark Gold didn't write for them from 2018, yeah, they my baby. They my baby for every single day Mark Gold in the pandemic case. If Mark Gold didn't write to them, show them what I go on and them no one look left and look right. Who is supposed to be held responsible for this? It's supposed to be Andrew Wellness, not Marky G. Marky G doing best. He do. So what is the problem? What is the problem? So when Mr. Rosemar Rosemary come out and I make the public know, this is the way how to do it. This is the right way. Be transparent. You can't go wrong. 
Uno can't go wrong. Remember me tell you no. So uno just uno just keep it up. Me like this. And Desmond Mackenzie, we are wait because we want the cemetery for clean. So we are wait for the money. We don't play with your boy. Yeah. Anyway, my wisdom warriors, last but not the least, only know say integrity commission posted Mark G statutory declaration. You guys know say it has been published in the Jamaican mm -hmm. Gazette. However, the integrity commission is cautioning against unsubstantiated claims of bias in relation to the timing of yesterday publication of the gazetted summary of the latest statutory declaration by opposition leader Mark Golding. The Integrity Commission noted that the summary which was gazetted in accordance with the relevant provision of the 2017 Integrity Commission Act was also published in both daily newspapers. My wisdom warriors. So, <laughs> on don't see what I go on. I don't hear about it. The whole of the labor right them having a meltdown. Because they must say them can't understand why the IC have to publish Mark G. Statutory declaration on the same day when it was the conference. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Me have to really laugh after the labor right them. Hmm? Me have to really laugh after Uno. No, Uno labor right. PA News Media for post one bag of lie about Mark Golden. Hmm? So we wanna come out and talk about ICP rubbish just because on a shame like dog. The whole of you in a green gone up at Andrew Wallness conference. You know, either you know, and Andrew Wallness now do nothing a pay trick in trick. You know. Pay use him a use you know. Uno did about him a build up this and Andrew Wallness now do nothing for Jamaican people. Andrew Wallness doing it for himself. Me tell it for tell you know. And you want to new woman is real estate developer. That's what they do, Bill. So they are the only one gaining. Una again, labor right, look into yourself. Talk truth. Look into yourself and tell me if Jamaica is better. Just look in a rural area. Just look around. Una know that. So why una kill up on yourself and I'm, and I'm going the most way like say Andrew do something? What is Andrew Wallace doing? Eh? What is Andrew Wallace doing? The 20,000 one is the Andrew Owens I give you. The last time I checked when it was election in a COVID. Remember, say Andrew Owens give you money. And remember, say general election I come. And Andrew Owens I give you money. It is a strategy. A PMA PMA and a style. You don't know what good. Hey, you don't know what good. You know, Jamaican people. You don't know what good. But anyway. Why are you guys having a meltdown about Marky G's statutory declaration? It is a good thing. It is a good thing that they publish it. Remember, say, I don't see a man did a spread propaganda, you know. I don't see a man did a spread lives for Mark Golden, you know. I don't remember good in a labor right. Every day, Boho, Boho, Mark Golden, one of the eight, we do not lie itself. Hmm? Bo Mark Golden, one of the eight. See, Mark Golden, statutory declaration certified. So, what I go say now? Eh? Mr. The Dancehall artist post over one of the <laughs> he comment over one of these news media, my wisdom warriors. And when he comment, he must say why I see a few post on the same day when it was conference. The whole of them are stressed out. Hmm? And that alone on half say talk say Mark Golden statutory declaration has been certified. Talk about that. He's an honest man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mark Golden mm, is an mm. honest man compared to Andrew. Look at Andrew Wallness. Who is Andrew? Hmm? Doing money laundering in a 28 bank account. And uh, I run up and down behind him. When I do that now, I realize that Uno not so sensible. Uno need help. I may God intervene because Uno labor right. We are run up and down and I ring bell. Uno don't even have no sense. Uno not even know say a salmon and you want to say salmon on a spirit. When you tell you about only bell for ring, you must salmon on a spirit. Me box cover, me sorry for you. Me sorry for you, but I just want God to intervene in this. Mm -hmm. Because there's no way and you only can get another term. Uno really want a thief for run Jamaica? Look how much thief. Look. Uno not look good Jamaica. What is going on? Uno not open up on the eye. This man under investigation, under investigation for enriching himself. But the way how we do it, him do it in a style. My wisdom warriors, 
him do it under style. He is stealing from the Jamaican people every single day. He's getting away with it. And we have to put a stop into it. We have to put a stop into it. So if you can go out and ask for this man to resign, that would be so good. Him need to lift up now. Because him out here I tell so much lie. You have that the one the Juliet Cockburn fling come out and I tell pure lie. Hmm? About how the economy is stable. The economy is not stable. Pure lie when I tell. And you will let's trick the people them say how oh, electricity I go go down by 53%. Lie. Lie. Hmm? And you will let's come back again and I talk about employment rate. In come back again and him a talk about inflation. Mm? But look around you guys. When you not go to the supermarket, it is so expensive. When you not go to the Chinese man, it's so expensive. I don't complain, you know. So the things expensive. So how can, can things expensive? But yet, inflation not high. Come on, Jamaica. Come on. It is a strategy that my use for Uno. Boy, I mean, no, no, I mean, no, something really wrong with you, you know. You don't need help. You don't need help, and you don't feel it. You don't Jamaican people, you don't green people, you don't feel it. If you don't allow Andrew Owens to get another term, you don't feel it, and you don't feel it real good. Mm hmm. You don't feel it real good. I'm not even say bad, real good. My wisdom warriors, when I see the way how these people reacting, me really realize that the labor right them a thief, a real thief. Because if this man, you tell me, say, Uno really believes that Andrew Owens no thief from Jamaica, Uno labor right. Uno really think that. If Uno really think that and believe Andrew Owens, say, Andrew Owens no enrich himself, and no me know, say, Uno a real idiot. And something really wrong with Uno. Something really wrong with you know, Jamaica, seriously. My people, me just want to take a look at Mark Golding's statutory declaration. Go through it, take on the time and go through it. This man is an honest man and that's all we need. This man is very transparent and he's very honest. Mm -hmm. And he mean well for the Jamaican people. They, when we see them are using a fight Marky G right now, they might discriminate against Marky G. I talk about Buckle Master and White Man. Who not idiot? The labor right, who not idiot? Because Andrew Wallace is currently working for a white Englishman. So I want to say, I don't understand. And Andrew Wallace is part of the Privy Council. Yeah, and the owners is part of the Privy Council where him don't even want to give up for Uno Jamaica. Uno need to know these things, you know. But Uno out here, Uno not have nothing for Marky G. So Uno, 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 Uno out here talking about white man, white man. Uno a friggin' idiot, man. Uno not have no sense. Uno not have no sense. Uno not so sense. Uno not so sensible. Me have to laugh at that, Uno. Jamaica is currently oversee by a white English man. Where Andrew Owens of a report to, if you never know that, Andrew Owens of a report to King Charles. Every single thing we are going in Jamaica, Andrew Owens of a report to him. So, what are you guys talking about? Me realize, say, you know, ignorant, bad, you know, ignorant. Remember, say, Warmington come out, you know, and saying, rather die. Hey, <laughs> Lord Jesus, you know, better start, you know, better start him, prepare for him, funeral. Remember, say, I hear him say so, you know, not me, I feel him words. My wisdom warriors, you know, tell me what you know, think. Put an you know, honest opinion in the comment section. Like up the video, share it out, and subscribe to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My people, run over to my other channel, subscribe, and get me to 5K. The link I got there in the comment section. And if you want to reach me, you can do so by WhatsApp, which is 876-236-9097. Blessings upon blessings. One love.